untold story of black men. since I jotted down something other than my nightmares.
I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave, Peters. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, Mr. Weston. All of Boston. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you as well. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She was dead. Even you must know her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter. never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at you. That's all you've got. The painting. I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these... elements? The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Darkwater? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. 
I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. I'm a private investigator, not an art critic. I guess you're not as clever as you think, then. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rules about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You will be handsomely compensated. All right, I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Darkwater. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. No doubt we'll find some information on this island in there.
Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlord. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. Ah, nice young woman. And a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the harbor master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Pure instinct. I behaved like a Hun, and I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean, who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first coma. I'll tell no one. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her vision was so terrible. The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after Mom of Whiskey? Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Torture. Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. 
I've got what I need. Anything else? Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36. Manifests are signed by 
Charles Hawkins. I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded wave. Even the antics of these war friends don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwood. Tell me what I can do to help you. Your manifests will be blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling. But no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? I'm looking for Warehouse 36. You know where it is? Look, it's right there. Warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. The Miraculous Catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. I 
shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. It looks like there's a way in under this grate.
trouble again. But he won't try again anytime soon. We gave him a good hiding. So you said to yourselves that after such a feat, you could abandon your post. It's just a little thing. We won't. of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. I heard the Hawkins family owned a warehouse on the docks. An old family of ship owners. <laughs> Tell me something I don't already know. They were made much richer by the miraculous catch. You shouldn't talk about the dead like that. We're not speaking ill, we're just saying that Daniel Hawkins made a fortune without taking any risk. There! You're speaking ill, you see? It's your proof that the miraculous catch really did happen. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stock. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last. The biggest. One of the miraculous cats. Exactly. I bid you farewell. Good night, stranger. So long. Miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years.
Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. I could use this old winch to lift the grating.
whale vertebrae. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, it's always a real fossil. getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. What could have done so much damage? What can I do for you? Apparently the bootleggers don't want anyone hanging around the warehouses. They're part of the private property I mentioned earlier. And yet the place looks abandoned. Why guard the entrance? As a precaution, I suppose. All the warehouses are more or less interconnected by all the shores. You mean that there's a way to go from one to the other? I 
think I can imagine what you've got in mind. You can always visit them if you're not the claustrophobic type.
to do is turn this handle.
What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? What happened here? Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? It smells as bad as it looks. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings?
was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? Well, open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Who are you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you. attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, 
then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Night falls quickly. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. All life is abandoned the place. Sturdy. Well sharpened. Sturdy. Vermin. Yeah, that's it. Vermin. 
Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt for you. Okay with you? I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. Right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, man. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can do. Take a look inside. I'm with you.